Hi, my name is Mary, and my brother James ruined the most important day of my life. I'm still furious, and this happened months ago. I'm finally ready to talk about it, and I'd like everyone to know how much of a horrible person he truly is. Growing up with James was an absolute nightmare. I know you must be thinking I'm just blowing this out of proportion, but just hear me out. This isn't normal, annoying brother stuff. He was awful towards me. He always said nasty stuff, broke all my toys, and would throw terrible temper tantrums. He was irritating and mean, and everything had to be about him. It was as if James wasn't happy unless he was the center of attention every single day. He hated my parents being proud of me, and so whenever I did something good, he'd act up all the worse, just to get them to focus on him again. He didn't care if the attention he received was good or bad, as long as he was in the spotlight. It was incredibly frustrating, but I figured my brother had problems, and I tried to help him. He only took advantage of my kindness and would mess with me every single time. I thought I was forced to love my brother, and so I kept giving him new chances, but he always would end up disappointing me. It took me the longest time to realize he simply wasn't worth my time at all. I cried so many times over the horrible things he did until I gave up trying. It hurt, but I knew it was for the better. My dad kept telling me that it was just a phase and that he'd outgrow it eventually. I used to think that at first, too. But now I don't believe it any longer. He's a horrible person, and he'll never, ever change. Living with him was a complete nightmare, and I tried never, ever to bring any friends home. I knew he'd find a way of making their lives a living hell during the time they were under the same roof as he was. At school, he spent most of his time suspended, and he would fail most of his classes. He always tried to cheat off me, and I tried to stop him because I didn't want to be punished for what he did. James was a messed up kid, and everyone at my school thought he was a freak. Honestly, since he was my brother, I tried to keep others from bullying him at first. Whenever I did, though, he'd end up getting me in some kind of embarrassing and weird problem, and so I completely gave up after a while. You can't even imagine how relieved I was when I finally decided to leave home for college. It meant being far away from my horrible brother. It was as if I could enjoy my own room for the first time in my life without worrying if someone had put something nasty in my bed or pulled a cruel prank on me. I was really happy, and honestly, I didn't miss him at all. I did call my mom and dad often, but I never asked to speak to James. Fortunately, he didn't want to speak to me either, apparently, and so we just seemed to ignore each other. In my first year of college, I ended up meeting a great guy named Tom. He was amazing and the complete opposite of my brother James. He was caring, loving, and never did anything to hurt me. I was amazed that a guy that great could really fall in love with me, and he showed me that I was worthy of real love. My brother's cruelty had messed up my self-confidence, but Tom helped me change that. I got a great job after graduating from college and ended up moving with Tom. We were so happy together. I worked as a computer programmer at the same place he did, and we seemed to have the perfect life. My parents met Tom a few times, and they adored him. He also knew many of my friends and other relatives, but not my brother. He wanted to meet him to see if maybe my brother had changed, I think Tom noticed I was still sad about everything that had happened between us. I mean, even if he was so cruel, James was still my brother, right? Eventually, Tom asked me to marry him, and of course, I said yes. He was the love of my life, and I couldn't wait to be his wife. And so, the planning began. It was a lot of work, and Mom helped me out a lot. I had to pick up the venue, my dress, the decorations, everything. And that included the guest list. That was when things got tricky. I had to figure out who I was going to invite. Of course, my whole family would be there, as well as Tom's. Many of our closest friends as well. We invited our boss to be polite, but knew he wouldn't show up. Some of our coworkers were also invited, and they were so excited for us. They said we were the cutest couple ever. The big question on my mind was, should I invite James? Tom told me it was up to me, and Mom told me she'd respect whatever I decided to do. 
It was hard to make up my mind, honestly, and I ended up deciding it was better if he didn't come at all. I knew it would be trouble if I invited him because he'd end up doing something cruel. The real problem was, I felt awfully guilty about it. Even after everything he had done to me in the past, he was still my brother, and siblings are supposed to love each other, right? It was going to be the most special night of my life, and my brother wasn't going to be there. My mom seemed upset as well, and that hurt me. Mom was great, and she always wanted James to become a better person. I wondered if I was doing my family more harm than good by refusing to invite James. As the date grew closer, my brother somehow discovered I was getting married. Mom and Dad didn't tell him about it, but maybe one of my other relatives did. The thing is, James called me and asked me if he was invited. I was surprised by his question and took it as a good sign. Maybe he was getting better after all and actually wanted to make up for all the stuff he did over the years. Maybe he had outgrown his cruel behavior. I asked him if he wanted to come, and he said he'd love to. He sounded so sincere. I told him I'd think about it and call him back. He wasn't invited, and it probably would be easier just to keep him from going to the party, but I began feeling really bad about it. It would be too cruel not to let him come, and so I called him back and officially invited him to my wedding. James sounded surprisingly happy, and this worried me. Could he be planning to do something bad, or maybe he had really changed? The day finally arrived. James had seemed a bit upset at first about me not inviting him from the get-go, but he seemed to be over it by the time of the party. Everything was perfect. My wedding gown was beautiful. My hair was lovely. Tom looked so handsome. Mom was crying tears of happiness, and the venue was gorgeous. Nothing was going wrong, and I was incredibly happy. Even James seemed to be having a good time. It was amazing. I was so relieved and started thinking that maybe he could become a part of my life and be an uncle to my future kids with Tom. He met my husband and was really pleasant. But soon I'd realize it was all an act. Right after saying our vows, people started screaming. I didn't understand what was happening, but then I saw it. My brother had knocked down the table the cake was on. Everyone saw him doing it and were screaming at him, but James simply ran away. I was so upset. How could he be so cruel and conceited? Everything had to be about him, even if that meant ruining his sister's big day. My mom hugged me really tight as the caterers tried to fix the problem. She told me she was sorry about what my brother had done. I was so upset. I told her I should have never invited him, and she agreed. At least my parents had my back. I thought that was the end of it and accepted the fact that my wedding cake was ruined. I wouldn't let my brother ruin the rest of the wedding, though, and so we carried on as if nothing had happened. Little did I know that this was only the beginning, and it was about to get worse. Far, far worse. What happened next made me realize that James had planned this all along. It hadn't been a spur-of-the-moment thing. A few minutes later, my brother came back, but no one saw him. Why? Well, he had a plan in motion, and he made sure no one saw a thing. He turned off all the lights in the venue, and the next thing we knew, a bunch of nasty animals flooded the place. There were rats, snakes, frogs, and all kinds of creepy crawlers. Everyone was freaking out and opening the doors and windows to escape. That was when a horrible stench filled the place. James had actually released a fart gas into the ventilation system and made the whole room smell horrible. The whole night was ruined, and all the money we spent was lost. A few of the guests actually had to go to the hospital because they had mild panic attacks. James knew full well that our Aunt Laura is scared to death of snakes, and she freaked out when they began crawling all around the floor. Everyone had to leave, and the night was an absolute disaster. I was mortified and spent weeks apologizing to everyone I knew for my brother's actions. Everyone was so understanding and told me it wasn't my fault. I should have known better and refused to invite him just as I had decided at first. My brother will never ever change, and everyone in my family is furious at him. Mom and Dad refused to speak to him, and I don't ever want to hear about him again. He planned this whole messed up thing way ahead of time, and I can't even understand why. 
I'm still incredibly upset, but at least my honeymoon was perfect. Nothing went wrong because my brother wasn't around. Tom promised we'd celebrate again when we have our first anniversary and throw a beautiful wedding party, this time without James there. I hope my brother doesn't try to show up and mess that up as well. Thanks for watching. What's the meanest thing someone you are related to ever did? Let us know in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel.